Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the different ways that plants and animals adapt to the harsh conditions in the hot desert biome. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Hot deserts have lower levels of biodiversity than other global biomes. This is due to the lack of precipitation, which tends to occur only for very short periods when it does rain and the extremely high temperatures. Plants and animals have to make adaptations to be able to survive in such harsh conditions. So how do plants adapt to the conditions in hot deserts? Plants that can adapt their features to suit the arid environment are known as xerophytic. Many desert plants have thick, waxy cuticles that reduce transpiration, meaning they lose less water and they also drop their leaves to prevent further water loss. Desert trees such as the acacia have short, wide trunks so they can store water in them to use in periods of no rainfall. Their bark is thick, which also makes them fire resistant in the extreme heat. Due to the extreme heat, some plants have most of their biomass below the surface of the soils. This is where the temperatures, temperatures are much cooler and therefore there is less risk of vegetation shriveling up and dying. Many hot desert plants such as cacti are succulent. This means that they store water in their tissue. Cacti also have spikes which stops animals from eating them and reduces water loss. Finally, some plants have horizontal root systems that spread out to get as much water as possible when it does rain, while others have long tap roots that can reach 7 to 10 metres below the surface to get to groundwater below. Another way that plants can adapt is by being ephemeral. This means they can change their behaviour to suit environmental conditions. For example, some desert flowers can lie dormant for years but germinate really quickly after a period of rain. This enables them to complete their life cycles in a few weeks, including producing colourful flowers immediately to attract insects that will then help with pollination. Okay, let's move on to having a look at how animals adapt to the conditions in hot deserts. Despite the harsh conditions, there are many species of animals who have adapted to survive the hostile hot desert environment. For example, many rodents are nocturnal and they only venture out during the cool nights and they spend much of their days underground in burrows. We also have plenty of snakes and lizards who are able to retain as much water as possible through their waterproof skin. We're going to talk about three animals in a little bit more detail. Our first desert animal is a kangaroo rat, as you can see on the screen. Kangaroo rats get all the water they need from food, so they do not have to drink anything. They also don't lose water through perspiration and they lose minimal water through urination as their kidneys are highly efficient. They are also an example of rodents who spend most of their time underground in burrows so they avoid the hot sun in the middle of the day. Our second desert animal is this very cute little chap on the screen. This is a fennec fox. Fennec foxes are protected from the scorching heat of the sun by having thick fur on their paws. Their light fur offers them protection through camouflage as well as reflecting sunlight to keep them cool. The fennec fox is easily recognisable because of his massive ears and these massive ears allow heat loss by providing a large area of exposed skin which is full of blood vessels. And of course we can't talk about how animals adapt to the desert without mentioning the camel. Camels are known as ships of the desert and are probably the most famous of all the desert animals and they have many adaptations that help them survive in the desert. Firstly, they store fat in their humps, meaning they can go without food for long periods of time. They have very concentrated urine and faeces to reduce water loss. They also have two pairs of eyelashes to protect their eyes from the bright sun, as well as stretchy nostrils that they can close in a sandstorm. Additionally, they have very long legs to keep their bodies away from the hot sand, but also to enable them to travel long distances. They also have webbed feet to stop them sinking in the sand and a light woolly coat to reflect the sun but also keep them cool during the day 
and warm at night. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how plants and animals adapt to the harsh conditions of the hot desert biome. Thank you for watching.